Hey traders, it's Wednesday 9th of June 2021. Okay, CAD news later, 3 p.m. UK time. Bank of Canada rate statement. Could see some volatility there. Sometimes we see, uh, depending on what happens, sometimes we see some big movement on CAD pairs. So just be aware of that. Um, quick look at the charts. Pound yen looks interesting. Um, I'm going to just zoom out a, a little bit bit in fact I'll go to the daily we've got this resistance up here this is back in 2018 I'm just wondering whether price could come and test that high maybe even break it now I'm looking at price action this could be what's called a bullish flag pattern which we would expect to break to the upside so um, I've gone into the smaller time frames and noticed a double bottom here. This is called our neckline. It's basically resistance. We've broken that resistance, broken that neckline. If we can come back and retest there and reject, that could lead to a buy setup, or it would lead to, lead to a buy setup, get long. And then we could break out of this, what uh, looks like a bullish flag pattern. Now, of course, it could also do uh, this. It could also have the retest. We could buy and it could come into the top of that structure and reverse. So you have to be aware of that as well. It could also come and retest the neckline and continue to break down. So um, the buys look interesting. We've had a new high got a double bottom so a little retest here and looking to go long if we get the right price action could be a very interesting indeed so I'm just gonna leave that in there for my own reference um, the other one I'm interested in is pound CAD so this does involve a CAD sorry the CAD um and we have cad news later so obviously be aware of that so let me just break it down for you a little bit go on to the daily time frame daily time frame seeing this uh, downtrend as you can see Let me just check. Yeah, we've got obviously we've got support here. Look, guys. Let me just draw that across. Oops, don't want that. Ah, uh, there we go. So we've got support here. Look. And potentially a double bottom there. We rejected this zone twice can also see obviously the trend line which is uh, resistance I can also see horizontal resistance here so it looks like price could be rejecting this support here on its way back to resistance up here and the trend line so interested in long trades on this okay so we've had that double bottom where we've tested here tested here we've broken the trend line now could come back and retest the trend line potentially before going we may not this looks like it uh, is a, a counter trend line or a CTL as we call it we could look for the break of that and then presume that it's on its way towards 88 400 88 uh, 500 somewhere up into these highs here so I'll be looking for the breakout. The other thing that, you know, I think it could do, and it may be, may be because of the news, maybe we have a little a spike, maybe we have a little spike down. Is, I've noticed these lows here and here. So let me just take out this bigger daily support here. So wouldn't it be nice if price came down into these lows and rejected? So we're looking at something like that. Basically come into the zone, boom, reject. And there's our trade all the way up there. Well, 
probably come out before actually we've got that trend line to maybe come out before so that's something to think about as well depend on what you like to do around news events you could have a buy limit here if you choose to buy limit maybe stops beneath that low there targeting somewhere up here that's over three percent or whether you just want to wait patiently and look for a break of this counter trend line and a nice solid close above indicating potentially that buyers are coming into the picture so a few different things to think about on that one but it does look really nice for upside it's um i think it could be dependent on what gets said later in the rate statement 3 p.m uk time so just bear that in mind pania looks interesting kiwi cad looks interesting let's see if we get uh, some nice setups today all right guys so that's it from me and the team catch you tomorrow bye